What's up ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. It is Light Liger, the crypto enthusiast here and today I'm gonna be doing a short tutorial video to show you guys how to add Ethereum tokens into your Ethereum wallet and I'm gonna be doing this with two different wallets. Starting with Atomic Wallet as something that I've supported and promoted on my channel multiple times in the past. It supports, you know, a lot of the popular coins, Litecoin, Monero, VeChain, EOS, Cardano, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, many of the mainstream coins along with Ethereum and all Ethereum tokens. And as you can see, as we scroll through, we can see the same address with all of the same tokens. And so in case you didn't know, uh, when you send any token to Ethereum address, the address is always the same for every token, basically. So what we're going to be doing here, for example, is we're going to be copying our Ethereum address and we're going to be going into this website, which is known as Etherscan. And this is a very useful website because once we paste our address, we can actually see all the balances and the tokens here. There's an ERC20 token, TNX. Uh, no, that is not it. Um, yeah, here we go. We have an expanded view of all the tokens that I hold on this address. And it shows me, um, you know, Bounty, Substratum, Datecoin, by the way, Hydro, Pundiax. And I have some Ethereum uh, tokens on other addresses. But this is basically showing me the overview of the tokens that I hold in this specific address. So in case we may have a token in uh, address, somebody may have sent me like, let's say, a banana token or something like that. Even though I have banana token listed here on my ether scan, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be listed on my wallet. So this is a very important part. So what you need to do is you need to find the actual token contract and you can find that on Etherscan. So let's say if that actually this banana, uh, banana coin extended, this is some coin, okay. And what we're gonna be doing here, we're gonna be going to the actual page. It has even an official website apparently and it seems to have even a market map, okay. And what you need to do is you need to copy uh, this contract, copy the address. This is the contract address. This is not the address where you would send the money. You go to Atomic Wallet and you go into the top bar and click Add Token and Ethereum. Uh, and so in future, they're gonna be adding other tokens. And all you need to do is you copy that token address here and it automatically gets the information basically from Etherscan or other website. And now we can just add it, add Token, and you can even add your own short name if you want to. If you, there's already another coin that has the same initials, it may give you an error or something, but now the PC token has added into your atomic list. And now we can search it, and we already had the banana coin token extended here, okay? And that's how easy it is to send the tokens. Even if the contract is not added to the Ethereum address, it doesn't matter, you can, so in case I have not uh, added a contract for XYZ token, and they send the XYZ token to my Ethereum address, it's still gonna be there. And I, I, when I add the contract to my wallet, I will get to access to those coins. So you don't have to worry about uh, adding the contract on time, so to speak. Another a popular wallet a lot of people use is uh, the MetaMask. This is something that a lot of dApps use. I never been a big fan of the MetaMask compared to like Tron Link and EOS Link, but people are Ethereum fans, what can I do? So in case you want to add a coin here, it is the same thing. And you can actually import from Atomic Wallet, by the way. This is my Atomic Wallet, by the way. Uh, you can in import your private key into the MetaMask and you can have a different overview, overview here. So you can access the same funds that I have on Atomic Wallet. And you go to there and click Add Token and you hit Custom Token. You can search the things like, let's say, uh, Wibson and gives, uh, you know, give us some like uh, instances here. But if you want to add a custom token, you add the address and it also adds the decimals and, you know, symbols here. You click next, add token, and there we go. It's on the list. Here we go, the BCO, the banana coin extended. And that's how easy it is to add the ERC20 tokens. I think there's the... The other ERC, I think, which are called the security tokens, which is 
ERC-773. I think those are also supported by the MetaMask, so um, in case you have those. But those are very rare. Most of them are ERC-20 tokens. And as a quick reminder, those who are new to crypto, in order to send any tokens um, from your Ethereum address, you need always Ethereum for the withdrawal costs. You can't pay... Uh, the transaction with the token itself. Okay, you always need uh, Ethereum to send, and that's that's how it's a bit different with like Tron and EOS. They don't actually require you to uh, use Tron or EOS to send their tokens. But thanks for watching. Hopefully, this was a useful guide. In case you have other questions about ERC20 tokens in general, leave them down on the comment section below, and I try to answer to them uh, best way I can. I talk to you soon, guys. Cheers.